I wanted to have a short chat with you. I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for quite some time. We've, you've, I've done a couple videos here just recently about crime. One of them had almost 7,000 views and I don't know how many comments and because of one little statement that I made in it, I had to take it down and strip that statement out and repost the, the video. But it seems like that there's a lot of talk lately about crime in Ecuador. And I want to tell you folks, I think that really, realistically, the problem is not crime in Ecuador. The problem is your expectations. People coming here with unreasonable expectations. You have to be realistic about it. This is a third world country here. Yeah, there's crime here. There's petty crime, there's major crime. But if you come here with the expectations that you're gonna see unicorns and rainbows and that you're gonna to get to live in a paradise environment, you're gravely mistaken. It's not like that at all. I'm not trying to be discouraging i'm just being truthful that's the way i am i just tell you what it's like for me and what i've experienced and i'm telling you i've been here two years and seven months this is no damn paradise it's nice it's a you know there's a lot of benefits of living here but to tell you the truth my sights were set on going somewhere else I'm not in a big hurry to do it but I don't, I can't see myself, I, I know one thing, I don't want to die here. I don't want to have a long-term illness and be here. You know, that, that can open up a big can of worms right there just by me saying that. After seeing what my friend Mark Bradbury has been going through in a government-funded hospital here, I don't, I don't want to see myself go through that or anybody else. But back to my original point, it's about expectations. You have to have reasonable expectations do your homework listen to other youtubers I, I, I have a hard time saying that because i want you to listen to me but there are other youtubers that that are very reasonable about what they say and they're accurate and they tell the truth and you know there are some that are just the opposite but we we're not going to go into that okay there's a lady that I, <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got an email recently, not too long ago, from a lady that is anxious to get moved here. She bought a condo in the, uh, I'm not going to say exactly, but in the uh, Waikil, Soninas area, up in that area. And she's excited and can't wait to get here and live her dream. And when I responded to her, I so badly wanted to tell her that you couldn't give me a condo in that area. And and the only reason why is because my expectations are probably about as unreasonable as can be and not realistic. And I have high expectations for where I want to live. And, but at least I know what my expectations are. My expectations now are a lot different than they were the day before I moved to Ecuador. So anyway, I tried to be as positive with her as I could, uh, but after my response to her, I noticed that I haven't heard back from her, and that's okay. I just, you know, I tell it like it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I tell people, if you want something sugarcoated, go buy a donut. But Back to my original purpose of this little talk is that crime is not the problem here. There's hell, there's more crime in Mesa, Arizona in a year there than there is in all of Ecuador in a year. So you have to put everything into perspective. Not to harp on it, but you know, the big crime that happens here is targeted crime, gang violence. You very few actual expats or fall victim to crimes unless they just didn't listen to the right people and they did stupid things, okay? That's all I wanted to say. I just want to get that point across. It's not so much the crime, it's your expectations. Make sure you got your expectations in check. 
before you come here. And you may end up going somewhere else. Okay? Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this channel. I appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you again soon. Ciao, ciao.